What's up everyone, Terraquake here, and I'm back with another top 5 favorite Pokemon video. So far I've done generations 1 through 7, meaning it's time for the 8th and final generation of Pokemon, which lie in the Galar region. Now of course, Pokemon Sword and Shield are fairly new games, as they are close to only being 6 months old, the DLCs are still yet to come, and I've only played through the game once. And since I've only played through these games once, a lot of the Pokemon on this list I used on my one and only playthrough of Pokemon Shield. However, there still are some Pokemon that I haven't used that are on this list, but I hope to get around to using them someday. Like always, I'm including the whole entire regional Pokedex, which includes starters, legendaries, mythicals, and in this case, the new additions that have been revealed in the expansion pass. I also have many honorable mentions that I want to give out before I get into the list, so without further ado, let's begin. My first honorable mention goes to Obstagoon, and he gets an honorable mention just because I like the fact that he introduced the whole concept of Galarian forms having new evolutions, which I think is very cool. Next up is Ice Cube, because come on, look at this guy. How can you take him seriously? He literally has a big block of ice on his head. When someone sends it out in battle, I just laugh, but for some reason, it looking so funny makes me like it so much. My third honorable mention goes to Kubfu, and even though we haven't gotten true gameplay with him yet, I just like his personality so far, and I think a little fighting bear looks so funny. Imagine if a tiny bear just came up to you and started punching your legs. Well, now that I think about it though, Kubfu could probably throw me 50 yards down the street. Graploct is another Pokemon that I haven't used yet, but I really like its design, and I think a fighting octopus just looks so freaking cool. And yeah, that's why it gets an honorable mention. Now here's the first Pokemon that I've actually used, which is Grimmsnarl. And this thing is just a beast. It has the opportunity to have a great move pool. It is the only Pokemon, aside from its pre-evolutions, to be a dark fairy type. And you guys know I love uniqueness. For my last honorable mention, I have Appleton. I also used Appleton on my Pokemon Shield team. And once you get through the awful stages of Applin, Appleton is just amazing with it being a grass dragon type. Not to mention, it's based mostly on an apple pie. I'm like, come on, that thing just looks delicious. With the honorable mentions out of the way, it's time to get on with the list. So, starting out at number 5, we have Rillaboom. Give Donkey Kong some leads and a drum set and boom, you get Rillaboom. Yep, whenever I look at Rillaboom, I think of Donkey Kong, but that's not a bad thing because Donkey Kong is one of my favorite Mario characters. Anyways, back to Rillaboom, I like the fact of a big gorilla having a drum set, and the recently released Gigantamax form for it looks so cool as well. I do like its previous evolutions too, but Rillaboom is definitely my favorite out of the whole line, and he is definitely my second favorite starter out of the three. Flying in at the number 4 spot is Corviknight. Now, if you saw my top 5 Kalos Pokemon video, then you would know that I like how Talonflame, even though it is the regional bird, is a fire flying type, and in the Gala region, Rookity is the regional bird that eventually evolves into Corviknight, who is a steel flying type. And I've said it before, but I'll say it again, the steel typing is my favorite type in all Pokemon, so you can guarantee that I'm going to like Corviknight. It's another Pokemon with the Gigantamax form, which looks very cool, and I used him on my Pokemon Shield team. He was my second Pokemon that I caught, or technically Rookity was. I also like how it's the Pokemon that flies you around the whole map, and if you don't watch the Pokemon Twilight series on the official Pokemon YouTube channel, the Corviknight Taxi Guy is kind of a meme because he's been in every episode so far, and I just think that's hilarious. Sniping its way into the number 3 spot is Inteleon. First of all, I feel like Sobble wasn't the popular choice when it came to choosing your starter for these games, but who knows, I could be completely wrong. Anyways, Sobble was the first Pokemon that I picked in Pokemon Shield, and I remember getting it to a Drizzile and then an Inteleon, and it also has its signature move, which is Snipe Shot, which is a pretty good water type move. Along with Rillaboom, Inteleon also has an upcoming Gigantamax form where he what looks like slithers up a tower and just snipes other Pokemon. That looks freaking awesome. I just really like the idea of Inteleon being a detective slash sniper kind of Pokemon. And like I previously mentioned, I have experience with Inteleon, and it's a great Pokemon. Tap dancing its way into the runners up spot is Mr. Rhyme. Now, I feel like this was something that was just waiting to happen. You see, Mr. Mime was supposed to get a baby evolution in Generation 2, just like Electabuzz, Magmar, and Jinx did. However, it got scrapped until Gen 4, as we all know Mime Jr. today. In the Sinnoh games though, Electabuzz and Magmar got a third evolution as well, 
Now in Generation 8, Mr. Mime finally got its fully evolved form, but only for its Galarian form, which sort of stinks. Back to Mr. Mime though, I really like the concept of it being partially based off of a tap dancer. He always seems to be having good vibes and he looks so carefree. Mr. Rhyme is the only Ice Psychic type besides his Pre-Evolution, Smoochum, and Jinx, which makes it very unique. And lastly, I use Mr. Rhyme on my Pokemon Shield team, and he was a great team member to complete my full team of 6, so Mr. Rhyme deserves the second spot on this list, for me at least, because of its personality, design, and use in battle. And now, for my number one favorite Pokemon in the whole entire Galar region, we have Colossal. Boy oh boy, when I first saw this guy, I knew that he was going to be on my team. The fact that Game Freak can make a Pokemon based on a stack of coal looks so good and menacing just bewilders me. You can also catch Roly Coley before the first gym, which makes Colossal a very accessible Pokemon. Not to mention, even though it's a Rock Fire type, which comes with a lot of weaknesses, it's a bulky and powerful Pokemon, unlike someone else I know. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Macargo. There's no other Rock Fire types out there. Hey, that reminds me, Colossal is the only Rock Fire type besides Carcoal and Cargo. So, once again, it's a pretty unique Pokemon, not only because of that, but it can also learn the move Burn Up, and Burn Up is a move that only Pokemon like Arcanine, Typhlosion, and Moltres can learn. Colossal's Gigantamax form also looks amazing, and he just has the best design out of any Pokemon in the Galar region, in my opinion. So there you have it, my top 5 favorite Pokemon out of the Gala region, and for now, that's all I've got for this little series I guess you could call it. Later on down the road when Generation 9 comes out, I'll probably make a top 5 favorite Pokemon video on that too. For now though, I'm going to be starting a new series, not this upcoming Wednesday, but the following one, so that is May 27th. Mark your calendars people, at least I hope I can get it up by that time. The series won't be a Let's Play series or anything like that, it's going to be sort of like this one. But don't worry, it's not going to be my top 5 least favorite Pokemon from every region either. It will be something brand new and I'm excited to do it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, then drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss my next upload. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time.